How Expert Publisher Journey Video Behind the Scenes. We're going to look at new applicants slash freelancers slash writers slash everyday real life everyday experts uh, for all topics from A to Z we're open to for nonfiction how to guides that are going to be 30,000 plus words. Ideally seven plus chapters. And ideally, 101 uh, tips slash lessons slash golden nuggets sprinkled throughout the book in seven plus s organized, structured, systematic, step-by-step, uh, -step chapters, right? As as organized as best as possible, ideally, okay? You can have multiple sections. This is your canvas. You're the writers. Paint it the way you want to paint. But if you can structure with at least very organized way to learn this in a how-to way, right? It's how-to books, right? Uh, ideally, write in third person. But if you want to sprinkle your own personal stories, here you can have some, those sections, those little stories here and there that's fine too right but don't forget this is a how-to book not not necessarily like an autobiography you could do kind of a combination but it's a, remember it's a how-to book to help other people just like you who want to learn about your favorite passion topic expertise knowledge right and teach them how to do and be the best they can be in their niche in your niche okay so let's get started Okay, so let's quickly start it, okay? My number one passion is video games. I have played on every type of gaming system. My current is Xbox One X. I played a wide range of games. And I'm going to be honest with you. I've re heard of this topic quite a bit, video games. Now, but I need specialty in video games because a lot of people say they're into video games these days. I got to hear what's your specialty. Is it specific sports games? Is it, You got to tell me what type of games. I don't necessarily. Is it RPG games? Is it sports games? Basketball games? What is it type? And If it's a generic term, we can go with it. I don't want to use a term by the company's name because it's trademark. So give me a, what type. Okay. Be specialty. That's what I'm looking for. Especially for a topic that is very in demand and very popular. Such as writing, traveling. Even video games are quite popular these days. Right. So I'm going to have to unfortunately have to pass for it now. Thank you. I might look at the bottom and see what else you wrote. Okay. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I thank you. Okay. My number one passion is this lifestyle industry, specifically blogging. From fashion to food to travel, I love seeing how other people live their lives, drawing inspiration from them. It could be as smooth as a film. Been creating my whole life, and I'm one of the lucky adults that I've been fortunate enough to share my love creating to adulthood. Okay, if you're a blog, if you're into blogging, with all due respect, I love that fact that you're passionate about a lot of different topics, fashion, travel, all that. You gotta tell me what type of blog you have. What's your website? Your blog? What? How? How? How many posts you've done? How many years? I gotta hear specifics about the blog. I haven't heard things about the blog. I've heard a blog topic, right? I've been creating my whole life, creating an adulthood lifestyle. Cooking, writing, fashion. I know, but I'm not looking up for a jack of all trades. I'm looking for a master of one. I create for the sake of creating, okay? Creative. I know, but what's your special, the broad niche? Okay, you're a blogger, but what's your website? Travel. Talk about food. You see, we're going all jack of all trades style now. We're, we're talking about everything. If it's food, what about food? Have you been a chef? Or have you done, if you've been, if you're not a chef, at least, have you been like a, you know, you ate a lot of different type of restaurants, you're into Yelp reviews, well, like you gotta, you gotta, you gotta tell me. People love to see more than one side of other people. They want to help. Human. I gotta see a little bit more examples, especially from this, right? So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to pass, okay? Now, this one, I think this question was relating to the other job posts. I don't know what you're saying. Costa Rica. 
Okay, what's your proof of experience, though? Okay, there's not enough elaborate details. I'm looking for detailed cover letter answers, okay? Okay? I know you. Grew, it's cool you grew up, but I'm looking for three things. It's not enough to have expertise and experience. You also have to have writing, detailed cover letter answers in the... So I know, I have confidence that when I look at your cover letter answers, you know, it's uh, comprehensive, it's substantial, right? It's interesting. It's excellent. Sub it's so it's it's relevant. It's impactful, etc. For that topic, and unfortunately, I didn't see that. Thank you. So for that, I didn't see. Uh, let me see one review. Really? No, they all they all they all they all archive. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, sometimes this happens. So no freelancers. I have to be honest with you. I'm looking for a little bit more, man. Unfortunately, okay. I appreciate all the applicants. Okay, you're welcome to um apply again. But next time, please write even more details. Okay, three things we're looking for: topic, proof of real life passion, knowledge, and experience in that topic. And number three, detailed and elaborate cover letter answers. Not one word, one sentence, short paragraph answers, please. So we understand, okay? You have a passion and love and expertise for this topic. So you are the person we need to hire and we need to collaborate, okay? Because we're going to do our best in the publishing side, okay? We're going to do our best. And uh, that's what we strive for, okay? Working with all everyday talents out there who don't know how to publish a book, who don't know how to get a book published. So this is a collaboration project, a unique collaboration pro project. We help you become a published author, okay? And we, we work with you. And all together, we can ultimately make this excellent book that makes a positive impact to your sphere of influence, Okay? For all topics from A to Z, one everyday expert at a time, okay? So if you're interested, click the link below and apply. You might say, our rate may be not the highest compared to other projects. We understand. But we give, unlike other projects, we put your name on the book. We publish your name, okay? We publish your name for life. This is for life on Amazon. Your legacy is more important than the any amount, with all due respect. You can publish your own book second book after on your own that's fine this is just a collaboration project for my publishing brand business <laughs> so there most people we work with we work uh, we're cool with the net uh, rate but there's a few people like 10 percent, i would say who like you know say they don't want to do this because they want to get paid this much and yes that's fine then then do it on your own we're cool because we actually i'm with all due respect even though i'm publishing a lot right now doesn't necessarily mean I'm making more. It's weird, okay? I'm looking in the long run. It may not be impacting right now, to be quite honest. Maybe, you know, even I do videos, it's not helping me. I'm fucking, I'm like bringing competitors to look at me daily, right? If anything, it's not, you know, but I still do what I do because this is what I, this is, I found out this is, this is what, this is, as of right now, this is what I do. You know, this is who I am. This is this is my number one passion. Just like I'm, like I'm looking for other people's passions. This is my number one passion. Knowledge, experience, slash expertise, love, you know? So I'm looking for people like me, but for other topics. So if you want to collaborate, let's do it, okay? And this is a great way to work with me and my team to understand how to publish your own second book if you ever want to set, publish your own book that you own on, on your own. That's good. And I've seen a lot of people, you know, who were under my umbrella per se, okay? They, they got started with their second book because they learned kind of first from me. They were introduced under, under you know, from me. So, and they wrote their second book and, I, and that's all good. And I'm, and I'm happy for them. Go to the next level, you know? But a lot of times people don't know how to go to the next level. They want to, 
you know, they need an introduction to publishing, you know, self-publishing. And this is a great way to get your feet wet into the world of self-publishing, right? To collaborate with this. All you got to do is write the book. And guess what? We're going to, I'm going to find a topic for you. Okay. It's a, uh, based on your cover letter answers. And I, we're going to give you the instructions, how to get the book structured. Okay. How to do a table of contents, how to write the first chapter, how to do the remaining of the entire book. What else book extras to provide us book about the author, book description, uh, book article to potentially promote this book down or turn it into a YouTube video. OK, or we're going to ask you if you don't want to do the article extra, just do a YouTube video. OK, and at the end of the day, once a book is published, we even give you a free a free version of the book to you, send it to you. OK. That's on me, you know, just as a thank you, as a thank you and appreciation genuinely from my heart to all our writers. OK, whether the book makes money or not, I don't know, to be honest with you. All I know is when I see and all my job as a publisher is to search and, and, and search for everyday talents out there who have an incredible gift, talent. OK, that deserves to be shared to the world okay and i want to i want to collaborate and we collaborate you have an expertise i have an expertise in publishing you have expertise in your passion and topic let's collaborate let's publish a book let's make a positive impact in the world let's do it okay so that's why uh anyways uh post your job but having said that i'm going to be honest with you because i have a budget okay <laughs> People don't know. They think just because I'm making sales here, they think everything's all profit. No, it's not. There's taxes. Have you heard of taxes living in the United States, especially in California? Okay, that's half your money. Okay, second of all, all that plus uh, all kinds of stuff. Team, advertising, you know, softwares you got to pay and everything. So I'm just doing what I do, though. Like, it's not all peaches and, you know. Anyways, uh, published next. Okay, who's this? Okay, my number one passion and skill is mechanical engineering, design and publishing, innovative research. I hold an MS degree in mechanical engineering. That's impressive. I have three years of experience in the electronics and manufacturing industry. Okay. I understand what it takes to uh, take a product from conceptual idea to manufacture product. I'm up to date. Okay. What else did he say? So, okay, these are some examples. Oh, wow. He, he definitely knows what he's talking about. If you know, if he has pictures like this, come on now. This is just common sense, right? This is, he's probably working on these projects or something like that. So, he's a passionate tech entrepreneur. Okay, okay. He's a very technical person, uh, engineer. Okay, my combination of theoretical knowledge and practical industry. Right now, with all due respect, I need to hear a little bit more examples. Okay, I might consider, but more examples. Okay, I haven't heard that yet. How to write and publish your poetry. My largest passion in life is poetry. I write a poem nearly every day and think it is an underrated genre for anyone to write in. That's fantastic. I love the fact that you write it every day. Okay, that's cool. Like you love it, you do it daily. Like if you love music, you probably people who like guitarists they play every day if you're a publisher like me i'm publishing hiring every day whatever you love you do it daily right and think is an undergrad okay? i would love to be able to share my expertise and experience in writing and publishing poetry the book could go over how to find your poetic voice learning poetic advices and structures how to brainstorm ideas how to come up with great metaphors editing po thank you she has a vision is a she she has a vision for the book okay describing what she can Come up with these are all potential chapters. So you want to have a writer who tells you what the potential chapters are as a vision for the book. Okay. Even go out of their way. Ideally create like step. Oh, it's what I think the chapter could be. That would be even better, but, mo but they don't all have to. I recently published uh, my own book of 80 plus memoir poems. I would love to be able to write a guy that would help others get their poetry out in the world. Okay. I hold a bachelor of writing and arts from, okay. So she even went to college. So I may consider it, okay. Because she did, um, do, she writes poetry daily, right? Although poetry is a pretty popular topic, and I've heard of other poets 
apply before. Some have won, went to competitions, I've heard. Various poets, they've done uh, gigs on five. They're very popular. Like I've seen a lot of high-quality poets. Um, some I've even hired. Some maybe haven't finished. But, hey, I'm open to multiple writers for a topic, so I may consider. So let me see. And But this writer, she's already published a book on poetry, and she writes poetry daily. She's like an everyday poet. So everyday poetry. I may consider it. Short list. Okay, for time purposes, I'm not going to put a time um, title right now, okay? Save. That's all I'm going to do right there. Okay. Megan there. Okay, who's next? Uh, my number one passion is, is helping students succeed. Succeed. Okay. Making sure they are well equipped and supported by the educators. Okay. Thank you. I... Good, good. Okay. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Um, let's see the next job post. I'm incredibly passionate about reptiles. Okay. Unique topic. Here's Christiana and exotic animal keeping as a whole. I started keeping bearded dragons at 16 years old. And now nine years later, I've learned so much. Okay. So even more specific topic. Then uh, that is bearded dragons. I like that even more, actually, because it's more unique. It's more targeted. It's a targeted audience. It has less competition out there on Amazon or any platform out there. There's so many books on every single topic already. Matter of fact, I think Jeff Bezos said one of the reasons he got into the book business initially, Amazon.com, was because out of all industries, book. The book industry had more items than any other industry out there. And it makes sense. Throughout history of time since, you know, ancient history, there have been books, right? So it, it makes sense. I know it's a it's an interesting industry, but uh, I've uh, worked with all types of animals from more venomous centipedes, and I've been bitten enough times to know my way around a zoo at this point. I worked in the pet store. She even worked at the pet store. That's cool. More experience. So she's a really a legit person who's passionate, has experience in this topic. All right, but what else? Let me see. When I saw this project, I knew right away it would be perfect. I'm new to freelance writing, though, and I want to help. Right, talk to you. I know well feels like an excellent starting point. I feel I can dedication and all time, but I appreciate it. But I need more details on your topic, please. If it's about reptiles, what type? Bearded dragons? Okay, let me take a look at this. Because she's had it for nine years. I wish she would have told me more about bearded dragons, though. You know what I mean? You know what? Because it's such a unique topic, I'm going to I'm I'm consider... Hiring her for bearded dragons, reptiles and exotic animals are too, is 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 too, too what do you call it? Too general of a topic, and ideally, I wish the writer elaborates more on the topic, like for bearded dragon. But sometimes I'm gonna be honest with you, I give leeway because if the topic is so unique, and they have real life experience, like since she was sixteen and she had had it for nine years. Nine years, right? That's real life experience. Then I might, I might, I might be, I might be more okay with not having detailed answers. You know what I mean? If the topic is unique, very unique. It's a top type of. How do you know a topic is unique? Um, if it's like you're looking for a one out of hundred, generally speaking, one out of hundred people probably know this topic or have experience in this topic. Who do you know? If you go to a supermarket, random 100 people, right? If you if it's a topic like one person will most just only only one person will have know that topic. That's the type I'm looking for. You know, bearded dragons, these lizards or iguana looking things, right? Uh, reptiles. Yeah, it's pretty unique.
Frick. Bearded Dragons. Okay. Poco and I is another word for a while. I see. Interesting. Hmm. Let's talk about Pogona then. That's the real word. Ah, okay, so let's do this. 101. Generally speaking, I like to structure, you know, the books that I publish. 101 tips. Or if they do more, 101 plus, you know. But it's not necessary if you publish it, other people. And even writers, like, if you don't want to do 101, let me know. And we don't have to do it. But this is a suggestion. But if you absolutely cannot do it, and if it's 80 or 60 50 or you absolutely don't want to do it to make it i may be open to it but just tell me though first before you write okay if you don't let us know you have to do it this way i ask you i recommend because that's how we structure all our books that's default but if you want to do it differently let us know but if you don't let us know and then you do it differently that's a different type you know then you didn't follow instructions right so we expect at least follow all instructions. Do 101 tips or 101 plus tips and seven plus ideal chapters, okay? That is organized, structured, step-by-step, -step, systematic, as best as possible. If you need different sections, it doesn't have to be all step-by-step. -step. Different sections, maybe you need two sections, three, four. It's all good. Just make it a five-star book. That's all we ask. 101 tips to learn about race and take care of your bearded dragon pets. <sighs> we may need images because this is the type of topic that, you know, you're training a animal unique exotic kind of animal right anyways uh that's that save notes uh what what's going on it's all good okay cool i don't know what's let me see what else there. click saved there you go okay next time here okay let's see Body surfing is my number one passion. I've covered several competitions for the surf media and competed as well, including the 2X, uh, the World Body Surfing Championship in Oceanside, California. I posted to the blogs of several surf manufacturers. There's se several clips in my upper portfolio. I'll post the link below, but I don't think I'll wear lousy, okay? Okay, uh, you don't have to provide that. Um, body surf. Let's go with body surfing. He's competed. Anyone who competes is has real life experience. Body surfing is a unique topic. The writing was not as detailed, but on the bottom there is. But uh, I, I've got it. Uh, it's good enough right now. Unique topic, so I'm gonna go for it. Okay, for time purposes, we're gonna go. Okay, let me add the notes real quick. Okay, this is a how expert guy to body surfing. It's like uh it's like uh surfing but with your body, you know what I mean? Without a surfboard. That's awesome, you know. That's uh, uh okay, 101 tips to learn how to body surf improve your skills and become a better Body surfer. 30,000 words. And 50 to 100 images. Because this is, this is the type of topic. Ideally, there are images. Okay, we provide a little bit more bonus for providing images. Okay. 
And we said save notes. Okay, there you go. Heart saved. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Next. My number one passion, skill, talent is clarinet. I'm also self-taught on multiple other instruments, such as flute, saxophone, and flute. I was in a band for nine years with my main instrument being clarinet. I have gone to multiple honor festivals for my skills, MVC honor festivals, Madison County honor festival, by state, etc. I also was awarded the highest award in my high school band, the John Philip Sousa Award my senior year. My level of expertise in music also brought me the honor of becoming the vice president of our school's Tri Music Honor Society. Some tips I would include in the article would be about in both church, choosing the right read, practicing the airflow the all chapter topics and all i would do my best okay great so she has real life experience in clarinet so i'm gonna hire her i'm open to hiring her for the topic of clarinet how i some guy to then i might do playing i like to have short titles to clarinet let's just do this for right now one one tips to learn how to play uh, the clarinet for beginners, maybe. And for this, let's do 30,000 words for right now, maybe. And this would make images too, I think. If they can provide of their own. If not, it's not necessary. They can skip it. Alexander H. Got it. Oh, did I skip it? This is unbelievable. Okay, wow. So those are all the shortlisted people. For this job, we have shortlisted everyone. Christiana, Tom, and Alexander. Again, the topics we found today were uh, uh, beer dragons here. Christiana, Tom here. Body surfing. Alexander. Clarinet, okay? And the other job posts we had, we, had, we found, let me see. For shortlisted for people we shortlisted for right now there was an engineer but what shortlisted is uh, also poetry and uh, this is a new job post we just reposted yeah so that's that so those are the potential writers we'll hire poetry um bearded dragons clarinet and body surfing okay thanks for watching Take care, and most importantly, take action. Take care. Bye.